Hey everyone, Garrett here from Naked and Famous Denim with a great slub review of the low tension weave. Before we get started, please make sure to like the video and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Okay, so if you are a viewer of This Week at Tati and Yoko, you might recognize this jean. Every week we have you guys vote on three different jeans and this was the winner, the low tension weave. So we're gonna do a fade review on it right now. Let's get into it and I always like to start with uh, the care the care tag or the label on the inside. So this one was super faded. If you look extremely closely, you can see that it does say low tension weave, weird guy, and this is a size 29. So it's super faded. You can see the indigo is already rubbing off on the tag there. And the first thing I noticed when I picked up this jean is it has the old label. It's got, I'd call it kind of a lower resolution label than the one we use now, and it's smaller and sewn on all four sides. The newer label is, uh, the new woven label is wider and only sewn on the side. So if you see one of these labels, you already know that it's definitely one of our older jeans. The next detail that I did notice also, it is reminiscent of our older weird guys, is the, the lower front rise. Wow, look at that. What a, a blast from the past. It's definitely lower front rise back then. So let's get into the fades. Of course, on the, the front here, the lap, we got some great whiskers going on. Some, uh, you can see that these are definitely worn a little bit tighter just because they are a little bit more horizontal, a little more straight. And then we have over here on this front pocket some nice rips and tears on the top of the pocket there. You can really notice the brassing on these rivets. They've gone to a, a, a gold brass color right there. And you can see if you can compare them right there too. There's the tin, original tin color. And then because he's been putting stuff in and out of his pocket, it is kind of worn away to a gold color. Next, we have the, the top button here, which has more polishing on it. You can see kind of a copper color shining through on some of the script of the Naked and Famous Denim logo, and then on the edge as well, because this has been a little bit snug, so it's been on an angle, and then that area has been rubbed. On the fly, I've got some nice fading on the fly, a little bit of a crease right here. Going down to the pocket bags area, we can see that he was keeping stuff in his pockets. There's a, a nice vertical line here and uh, probably keeping his keys or a phone or something in there, that, that causes that hole to develop down at the bottom. Now, if we look here, we can see a great example of short slub fading. So you can see these vertical lines running down. You can look closely, you can see, you know, there's a contrast between uh, one of the yarn and the next yarn over and the next yarn over. It goes from a little bit lighter to darker. So this is a fantastic example of a short slub fabric and how it's gonna fade. Very beautiful, subtle, but definitely um, adds a lot of character to this fabric. So nice short slub fade. We can see the railroad tracks, of course, going down the side as well. That's the printing of the selvage showing through on the outside. We got it on both sides here. And some nice little creases on the sides of the knees. All right, working down a little bit further. We have uh, some light stacking fades here. And you can see that it was cuffed on the outside, some of the yarns are starting to break, some of those warp yarns starting to break. And one thing that stood out to me on this jean is it's actually not a chain stitch, this is a, a lock stitch. And you can see once we flip over the cuff that we do have roping. So some people say, oh, if you don't have a chain stitch, you're not gonna get roping. And that is false, as we can see here. We got some lovely roping here on that lock stitch. All right, next up, we'll take a look at this beautiful purple selvage ID. Let's get a close up on that. We don't use purple that often. Uh, I think the last one would have been on the trunks or maybe the purple core to have that purple ID. But I do love my uh, purple selvage IDs. And then on the inside, we can just see there's the, the weft small repair, it looks like right here actually. First repair that I've seen on this pair. And you can see where he's been cuffing the jeans, a little bit of wear on the inside there. All right, let's flip these over. And, oh man, look at that patch. Big, thick leather patch. You can see here that it's only sewn on the top and bottom and it's starting to pull away a little bit on the corners. That does happen when you have a thicker patch and you only sew it on the top and bottom, but just look at this amazing patina on that patch. It's almost completely faded. You can just see kind of a ghost image of the embossing there. But I love how this patch has turned out. Absolutely beautiful. You can really notice on the back here that this was worn with a belt because the belt loops have a lot more fading 
uh, as opposed to the waistband, which is covered up down on the yoke, a little bit of puckering on the bottom there along that seam, more wear right in the center. And you can also see those wear points on the back of the pockets. In the pockets, it looks like he was carrying something again, maybe a wallet in this back pocket, perhaps a phone in this one, but definitely carrying something. Got a little bit of wear and tear on the crotch, but nothing too crazy. No blowouts yet, no repairs. And moving down, let's take a look at these honeycombs. Yeah, those are some nice honeycombs. Very vintage faded honeycombs. I'd guess he probably washed these uh, a decent amount because they're not too contrasty, but I love me some vintage honeycombs. And then down at the bottom, again, we have some more stacking fading, quite a distinctive oval shaped stacking fade on this one and kind of an X shape on this. So, and then we can see again, there's that cuff on the back. So I think that about does it for uh, this pair, this fade review of the low tension weave. So if you wanna see uh, more fade reviews, make sure to watch this week at Tati Nyoko and you can vote for which pair of jeans you want to see faded. And uh, I think that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.